Bro, have you checked out the K2 Black Panther tank from South Korea? It's like the ultimate tank upgrade for the Republic of Korea Armed Forces, replacing the old M48 Patton and hooking up with the K1 series tanks. Picture this bad boy, it's got firepower like no other with its 120mm smoothbore cannon, the CN-08, packing a punch similar to those western tanks. And it ain't just about the big gun, it's got all these other cool features too. First off, let's talk about that auto loader. Just like the French Leclerc tank, it can keep up a crazy ray of fire, we're talking up to 10 rounds per minute, without needing an extra hand. Plus, it's got armor for days, with this super secret composite armor that's like, top class classified stuff. It's even got explosive reactive armor, ERA, that blows up RPGs and other nasty stuff trying to mess with it. Now, let's get techy. The K2 Black Panther's got all these fancy electronics on board, thermal imaging, laser rainfinders, ballistic computers, you name it. Day or night, it's always locked and loaded. And get this, it's not riding sluggish either. With a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine and a sweet suspension system, it's cruising through rough terrain like a boss. But hold on to your wallets, cause this tank ain't cheap. It's like $8.5 million a pop. But hey, when you're getting one of the best tanks in the world, you know it's worth every penny. And South Korea ain't playing around with this beast. They even launched the MBT K1E2, taking cues from the K2's playbook. It's like the K2's paving the way for the future of South Korean tank warfare, man. Oh, and if you're into specs, check this out. It's got a 120mm smoothbore cannon, 12.7mm heavy machine gun, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, it's like a tank arsenal on wheels. Plus, it's got all the bells and whistles for crew comfort and performance. This tank's the real deal, my dude. Yo, so check it, there ain't no exact info out there on how many K2 Black Panther tanks are out in the wild right now. South Korea was aiming for like 680 of these bad boys, but who knows, that number might have changed since then. They're mainly pumping these tanks out for their own military, you feel me? Now, when it comes to exporting these beasts, as of today, March 25th, 2024, ain't nobody else got their hands on them. South Korea is probably like, let's sort out our own defense first before we start shipping these babies abroad. Plus, with each tank costing around $8.5 million, that's some serious cash to drop. There's been some talk about maybe selling these tanks to other countries, but nothing's set in stone yet. Why the hold up, you ask? Well, for starters, South Korea's gotta look out for numero uno. Their own military needs come first, you know? Plus, they're not trying to spill all their high-tech secrets to just anyone. And let's not forget about the competition. The Abrams and the Leopard 2 ain't exactly sitting idle in the export market. But hey, there's hope on the horizon. With upgrades like the K1E2 getting a taste of the K2 flavor, South Korea might start thinking about exporting these bad boys down the line. If they can loosen up on those export restrictions and maybe drop the price a bit, who knows? The K2 might become the next big thing in main battle tanks. Now, let's talk about why everyone's buzzing about the K2 Black Panther. This tank ain't your grandpa's old rusty war machine. It's like the epitome of South Korea's armored vehicle game. Packed with all the latest tech and firepower, it's a force to be reckoned with. From its 120mm smoothbore cannon to its slick digital battlefield management system, this tank's got it all. And don't even get me started on its mobility, this thing moves like a ninja on steroids. And when it comes to staying safe, the K2's armor game is on point, shrugging off all sorts of threats like it's no big deal. Since it rolled onto the scene in the early 2010s, the K2 Black Panther's been turning heads left and right. South Korea's been cranking these babies out like there's no tomorrow, 
and folks from all over are taking notice. So yeah, when it comes to main battle tanks, the K2's the real deal, my friend. Yo, let me break it down for you about the K2 Black Panther, it's like the ultimate symbol of South Korea's defense game. This tank screams innovation, security, and straight-up tech advancement. Just its presence on the battlefield is enough to make any potential foes think twice, while also giving South Korea's allies a big ol' pat on the back, like, yeah, we got this. So, here's the deal. The K2 Black Panther isn't just a tank, it's a masterpiece of engineering brought to you by Hyundai Rotom. With its crew of three, commander, driver, and gunner, it's like the dream team of tank crews. Plus, the inside's decked out with all the latest gadgets, making sure they're always on top of their game. And let's talk firepower. This bad boy ain't messing around with its 120mm cannon. But get this, it can even fire anti-tank missiles from that same cannon. Talk about versatility, right? But it's not just about blowing stuff up, it's also about staying alive out there. That's why the K2 Black Panther's got all these fancy threat detection systems, infrared sensors, radars, you name it. And to top it off, it's got extra protection like CVRN warning systems and automatic fire suppression. Safety first, people! Now, when it comes to taking this tank out for a spin, it's like gliding on butter. Powered by a high-octane engine and with its slick suspension system, it's cruising through any terrain like it's on a Sunday drive. And guess what? Other countries are eyeing this tank too. South Korea might have built it for themselves, but there's some serious export potential here. And with constant upgrades and training programs, this tank staying ahead of the curve, always ready to roll out and kick some butt. Alright, let's dive into the world of the K2 Black Panther tank, straight out of South Korea. This beast is no joke, it's like the Rolls Royce of tanks, but with a bit of that Korean spice thrown in. Picture this, sleek lines, powerful guns, and all the tech you can imagine, packed into one mean machine. First off, let's talk about the price tag. Now, you might think it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, but guess what? It's right up there with those fancy European tanks. That's right, folks, South Korea ain't messing around when it comes to building top-tier military gear. And let me tell you, the K2 Black Panther ain't just some run-of-the-mill tank. This baby's got all the bells and whistles, and then some. We're talking about firepower that'll make your jaw drop, a 120mm sleepboard gun that'll send shivers down your enemy's spine. But it's not just about blowing stuff up, it's also about staying safe out there. That's why the K2 Black Panther's got armor that'll make even the toughest bullets bounce off like rubber bands. Plus, it's got all these fancy gizmos like infrared sensors and radar to keep an eye out for any surprises. Now, let's talk about mobility. This tank ain't just sitting around looking pretty, it's out there tearing up the terrain like nobody's business. Powered by a high-octane engine, it's like a race car on steroids, zooming through mountains and valleys with ease. And you know what's really cool? Despite all that power, this tank's got some serious finesse. Thanks to its advanced suspension system, it glides over rough terrain like it's riding on air. So yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar it's gonna be one smooth ride. But wait, there's more! The K2 Black Panther isn't just a tank, it's a game changer. With its state-of-the-art technology and relentless innovation, it's like South Korea's way of saying, we're here to stay, and we ain't messing around. And let's not forget about the crew. These guys are like the Avengers of the tank world, a commander, a driver, and a gunner, all working together to take down the bad guys. Plus, with their ergonomic interior design and all the latest gadgets, they're always ready for whatever comes their way. Now, you might be thinking, what about the competition? Well, let me tell you, the K2 Black Panther ain't sweating it. 
Sure, there might be some other tanks out there, but none of them can hold a candle to this bad boy. It's like the LeBron James of tanks, unstoppable. And you know what's really exciting? The future. With constant upgrades and new technologies being added all the time, the K2 Black Panther is only getting better with age. So yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar it's gonna be sticking around for a long, long time. In conclusion, the K2 Black Panther isn't just a tank, it's a force to be reckoned with. From its sleek design to its powerful guns and advanced tech, it's like something out of a sci-fi movie. So if you ever find yourself face to face with one of these bad boys, you better watch out, because the K2 Black Panther means business. So yeah, the K2 Black Panther isn't just a tank, it's a game changer. It's like South Korea's way of saying, we're here to stay, and we ain't messing around. So if you're into military tech and all that jazz, hit that subscribe button and join me on my channel Modern Warfare for more deep dives into the world of tanks and warfare. Peace out!